Hello everybody, my name is Karen Adair and I'm a designer with Crafts You Print. Today I'd like to introduce you first of all to a new design that I have and this is it here. I call this, um, it's an A4 card kit and it's a 3D decoration A4 card kit. In this case a Christmas bell. Now what's so special about this? Well this card comes with a detachable decoration which is held on with velcro. The tag also comes off and you place your decoration on the tag probably a bit straighter than I have just done and it can hang on a tree. What a lovely little gift to send with a card at Christmas. So what are you going to need to make this? Right well, the first thing you're going to need is the kit from Crafty Print. And what do you get in your kit? Mm. Well, you get your elements to make your 3D decoration in red and green, in this case. You also get the pieces to make your tag for the front of your card, which your decoration will be attached to. Then you get some paper ribbon, greetings banners, handmade by tag and some decoupage elements. You'll get two sheets of backing paper, this one and this one, and then you'll get your insert for the inside of your card. Also, you're going to need an A4 card, and here's one I made earlier, and all I did was take two pieces of gold card. I made a narrow strip with red just to add a bit of colour, and join the two pieces with that. So that's your card. Also you're going to need some tools. So what are you going to need? Well, metal ruler and a sharp knife for cutting your paper. Or you can use your um, cutting machines or whatever else you have. Also a good pair of sharp scissors for cutting out your decoupage. Um, a hole punch for your tag, some double sided tape, some sticky pads, importantly for this particular card kit, some velcro and some scrap paper for when you're gluing your elements together. So we'll get started. First of all, um, We'll start with making the 3D, you take your elements, you place them on your scoring board, your scoring tool, and just very gently run a line down the middle. Two or three times is enough. And then fold your element in half, make sure it's lined up nicely, and I take the flat side of my tool just very gently run it along. Don't give it too heavy a crease because you want this to stand up for you. So there's one and then here's a green. Now we're going to, I'll show you how to join these together. Move that out of the way. And for this you need your scrap paper and your elements. I'll just show you with these two for now. Now I prefer to use glue. And the So take Make sure you've got your opposing sides together. Take one of your elements and add your glue. And I don't take it right up to the edge because you find when you press together, the glue comes out anyway and spreads. So I just keep it in from the side a wee bit and then just a bit up the middle. Okay. And then you take your two elements, take my first element and the element with the glue and I'll stand them up. Line them up by eye to start with and push them together and then fold the whole thing up and then I just use my fingers and if you've got it on a hard surface you find that the back will be lined up. Turn it over, press at each end as well just to make sure it's lined up. And that's it. That really is all there is to making these 3D decorations. And you open it up and that's what it looks like. Now there's nine pieces to this decoration 
And here's one I started making earlier, and there are seven on this, so I'm going to add the final two. Add the final two. There's your element now, that's a nine piece element, it gives it plenty of depth and it looks lovely. So we'll set that aside over there and what we're going to do now is we'll put our card together very quickly. So we take our card from and what I've done with this card today is I've taken my two sheets of backing paper and I've taken I peeled that off and I didn't mean to. Oh well, we'll line it up on one side for the time being. Don't worry if the two pieces don't meet in the middle because there's going to be a paper ribbon going here as well. So what I'm going to try and do is line it up at the side here first and then make sure that the gap at the bottom is the same as the gap at the top. And then that's it there. Peel that off and smooth it down. Now, a lovely little matching ribbon, paper ribbon here, which is going to go across the centre of the card, and I'll make sure I get it up the right way. One thing I should say, what I've done with this kit is I have printed off the background papers on super smooth decoupage paper. But all the decoupage, the elements, the 3D decoration have been printed off onto photograph paper, just so that you get that bit of shine. Don't know if you can hear that rain going on out there, but it is pouring down at the moment and blowing gale force winds over here. And I'm having trouble getting this sticky tape off. There we go. Now, again, for me anyway, tricky getting things lined up. I'm not very good by eye, but I'll do my best here. Um, line that up there and I'll use the pattern on the paper at the top just to get it lined up. That's it there. And peel off my... And there you have just your basic card front and ready to be decorated. Take my tag. Now this came in two pieces on the sheet, which I'll show you here. This is these two pieces here. And I just cut them out, glued them together, and then punched a little hole in the top. And what I'm going to do is put my piece of Velcro on first. Now, one of the one of the way, the tricks to remember when you're doing this is to ensure that when you're putting your Velcro onto your tag and onto your decoration, that you ensure that they're done opposite, because when they come off, they have to go together. So on this, on the tag, on the Velcro, I'm going to use the peel off sticky bit, peel it off and just stick it about in the centre, just slightly above centre, onto the back of your tag. You want the little poem left on the front. And if you'd like to know what that says, it says, take this lovely little bell and hang it on your tree, where it will forever remind you that it came with love from me. Merry Christmas. Isn't that lovely? So there you have your tag and I'm going to put a piece of red ribbon which needs a little trim a little bit of red ribbon through the punched hole and that'll be there then ready for hanging on the tree there you are now where do we want to place it I usually tend to take my pieces if you like and lay them out first. This is the greetings banner that's going to go at the top of the card. So I'll put that there and about in the centre. Then I have some little pieces of decoupage, in this case some lovely little red flowers with holly leaves on and they're going to go up into the corners. And make sure I use the right ones in the right corners because they're again they're opposing. There we go. And I think I've got that the wrong way around. Yes, I have. There we go. And then the tag will sit there. And then my 3D decoration is going to sit here. So I can go ahead now and I'll stick my tag down. 
Now again, the Velcro that I have is only sticky back on one side, the other side isn't. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back of that and just press that down onto the card where I want it to sit, which is about there. Just press it down and let it dry for a while before you peel your, peel your tag off. Now we're going to put the Velcro onto the back of our decoration. And this time we want to ensure that, what, that, that we have it the right way round. In other words, so that the two tag, the tag and the decoration stick together. Oh, it's not dry yet. So peel off the layer, I'm peeling off the layer of the back of the Velcro and I want my bell to go here so I will stick that down below like that and then peel this off and add some glue to the back and then Place this on the back of my bill, like so. And again, it's going to be a case of leave that aside and let that sit there. And we'll put our little decorations on. And here they have little sticky pads on the back all ready. And I'm just going to place that down in the bottom corner here. And then quickly the two top ones. And then the greetings banner. I've used larger pads for the greetings banner just to, to give it, you know, a bit of, just to keep it sturdy. Now yeah, then, what I also have here actually are your handmade tag for the back of the card and you can add your own name to that but I also have a little uh, just a little text plate and basically it really is just um, a very brief set of instructions to the recipient of the card on how to take off the decoration, add it to the tag to hang on their tree. So it's just in case some people don't understand or don't realize what it is, that will tell them what it is. So that's just to stick on the back of the card and it's just following the same theme as the rest of the card. It's a little bell, has a little flower decoration on it and then a little set of instructions. And I'm gonna put that on the back of the card, just in the center. And then the handmade by tag on the back at the bottom. I've added sticky pads to this as well, but you could put it on with tape or whatever you like. And again, try and get it in the center. There we go. And then finally, just to put the beautiful insert into the middle of your card. Insert into the middle of your card. Now, I'll stick this onto the front of the card, like so. Just, and there you have it. That's your A4 card with your 3D decoration. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.